Welcome to quick cheat number four. Using the Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator to divide an athletic shoe basic shape. I have supplied a file that includes the preparatory and final sketches for your reference. Go to my blog page at the Fashion and Footwear Illustrator and look for the Athletic Shoe and Shape Builder tool blog www.fashionandfootwearillustrator.com.au forward slash blog. The tool that I'm going to demonstrate today is the Shape Builder tool, my all-time favorite, but this tool will require some patience when you start learning it. Process is important. If you slow down a little, it will save time later. The Shape Builder tool is located in the Tools panel. If I double-click the tool, I activate the options for the tool. I like to have gap detection on small. So, if a line has not quite intersected the shape, this will read the gap. All other options I leave at default. Do you see the highlight color here? It is red. It will be easier if this is a contrast color to the layer highlight color. You can see my layer highlight color is blue. So, let's start. I'll come here to the shoe I have prepared. I like to move the shapes aside to use the Shape Builder tool. I'm just checking that my keyboard increments are 20 millimeters, so I don't spend ages moving pieces. I'm starting with the toe cap. I copy the base shape to the side and then the toe cap lines. You can see that the lines are all over the edge of the shape. I'm selecting the Shape Builder tool putting white in the fill and clicking once each time it highlights an area. I select black for this shape here. And then I delete everything else by pressing the Alt or Option key at the same time as I click onto the unwanted shape and overhanging lines. Now to do these design lines here. I need to select any other lines the design lines butt up against so the back heel design line and the toe cap. I'll copy these in the base shape. First, I select the heel design line and I divide this and then move the heel back into place and finish that. Now, I will do these panels here. I select everything else and divide the black panels with the Shape Builder tool. I'll move these back into place. Now, I will do the binding along the top line and edge here. I have already copied the top line of the shoe here in red. I select this and offset the path. Object in the drop-down menu, Path, and Offset Path. I'll edit the shape and divide this with the Shape Builder tool too. Finally, I'll do the sole. I move all the sole component pieces to the side and divide this. I like to keep my shape separate. I first divide the main part of the sole. And then I do the treads. You'll notice that I selected the main part of the tread and made this black. Now I delete the shapes I used to cut into the treads by pressing the old Option key at the same time as dragging the Shape Builder tool over these areas. That's it. Now I just need to add the finishing touches. I 
I hope you enjoyed this quick shoot. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit like so that more people see my videos. Head on over to the fashionandfootwearillustrator.com.au and subscribe there as well for more updates and content. Keep an eye on both my website and YouTube channels for more quick shoots. See you soon!